we haven't spent much time talking about the IPO market this year because there hasn't been anything to discuss. Hardly anybody wants to come public in such a bleak environment. But today that changed when Intel, the semiconductor company, spun off its advanced driver assistance and self-driving technology business, Mobileye, as a separate company. Boy, the market lapped it up. This wasn't some small-time deal. It's the largest IPO of the year by market capitalization as Mobileye came public at a $17 billion valuation. And it was a little unusual because Mobileye was an independent publicly traded company not too long ago. And while it was pretty volatile, its overall performance was strong. Plus, they really lucked out with the timing because this is the first week in a long time where Wall Street was not terrified of the Federal Reserve laying tech to waste with relentless rate hikes. Of course, this is a blackout period for the Fed. They can't talk anyway. Still, it's a pretty impre- It's really very impressive, I think, that Intel could price its mobilized spinoff at $21, up a dollar from the high end of the proposed range. Most of them have not done that only for the stock to open at 26 bucks, kind of like the old days, for finishing under the day just under 29. That's up 38% from the deal price. This is one you wanted to get into. That's the kind of action you might have expected from an IPO over a year ago when Wall Street couldn't get enough of this stuff. So what, is the, what does it mean? What does mobile deal mean for the market and for the company? Okay, first, you need to know that this company makes hardware and software for the auto industry. They're a major player in advanced driver assistance systems. And if we ever get truly self-driving cars, I'm betting Mobileye will have a piece of that. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.